this demonstration we will take a look at the use of the ballistic pendulum in determining the speed of a bullet. Rather than a conventional, conventional gun, we're using a staple gun. And we will shoot a staple into this little block of styrofoam. And as a consequence of the impact, uh, the block will move across, causing these threads to swing through a small angle. The amount of movement we can measure. Afterwards, we will apply some uh, mathematics to the situation to ultimately determine the speed of the bullet. So, if I hold this in position and we're ready to fire, you can see that the block moved in the first instance approximately four centimeters. With a length of string of 40 centimeters, it is possible to determine the angle through which the string moved. Having worked out the angle, we can do a calculation which reveals that the block here raised by about two millimeters above its starting position. That is sufficient information ultimately to calculate the speed at which the bullet struck the block. In the first instance, conservation of momentum is brought to bear when the collision occurred and subsequently we apply the principle of conservation of energy to determine the speed of the bullet by working backwards from the height that the block arose to. In order to do the calculations, the mass of the individual bullet is needed. But even a very sensitive balance will not achieve that for us. So we measure the mass of 100 staples and divide the answer by 100. The mass of the block can be determined and using both figures, we can uh, work out the actual velocity uh, that the bullet had upon impact.